it is time to move on to greener pastures of multivariate analysis and EC analytics. Let's get started. So imagine you are the proud owner of this removing company, and in the past, you have been very bad at giving price estimations to your customer, and that has been costing and hurting your business. So now you've been gathering some data, and you want to be able to predict how long time a certain move will make so you can make a good price estimation. So here is the data that has been collected over the time. So you see that we have information on how long the move took, how many cubic meters of boxes, how many large furniture there was, and whether, whether or not there's an elevator at our disposal. So this is a really classical data set. Uh, and it's the, I think the most common I see out there. Uh, because every row could be a batch, it could be a measurement, and I have some sort of Y being the hours, I have, and I have three Xs. And I wanna compare these and I wanna understand how they affect each other. What I try to encourage my customers to do is these two things first. And I was wondering whether to do this automatically, so I've already done them, but they're so easy to do that I wanted to show you the steps. So to make these two analyses, what you do is you go to Analyze Distribution, you highlight all the columns, you press Y and you press OK. I hold down Control and I click the quantiles to close all quantiles, I click summary statistics to close those, and I press frequencies to close, close them. So this is one. The other one I want to make is I go to graph and scatter plot. I again highlight all the columns, put that at 2y, and press OK. I then I can make it a little larger. I then click this check mark box there, and I click this check mark box there. And I say, combine windows. These are the two, say OK. And I have now created a dashboard that is really excellent for outlier uh, finding and also just understanding how our data is behaving. So on the one hand, I have the distributions of the data of my four columns. And on the other hand, I have everything plotted against each other. So I can see if I select all the points that do have an elevator, those are those represented over here. I might go as far as say, I actually want these to be colored. So I press elevator. So red dots, blue dots is elevator, red dots are not an elevator. And notice this interactivity between my two graphs. And again, maybe I just select the one with the large amount of furniture. Those are these ones. And there's one thing that really pops out of me fast, and it's that particular measurement. It is really far outside on, like not so dramatic on this univariately, uh, or like one dimension. But when I look at it with in two dimensions, like large and hours, it really comes out as a, as a big outlier. Um, I might say that I want to have some density ellipses. Again, just showing where I have positive, where I have correlations. And again, just also showing how much of an outlier that is. So I've, I've, I know that is a, something's wrong with that. I don't want to use that because it will skewer my, uh, my data. So I've highlighted it. I right click, I say row, hide, and exclude. And these two analyses then updates without that data point. So it's just important, like no matter what data you have, you need to start here. You need to understand uh, if you have outliers, uh, is, is there any trends we need to be looking for? Um, so I love this dashboard. And we can of course save that by clicking this red triangle, saying save script to data table. We call it the awesome dashboard. Okay, so that's one. Close all this down. And the next thing is then what people normally do in Excel, and that is to create graphs. We call it the graph builder. And the way it works is that we have drop zones. And depending on where you put a variable, these drop zones will de define what it does. So the Y, for example, if I put hours into Y, will define that that is then the Y X. If I put elevator into X, that is now the X. So I have like an elevator by hours and I can change parameter up here and say, maybe I wanna look at the, the box plot or a distribution of the two. Um, Boxplot is, is fine for that. I can add more X's. I can do large, 
as well at the side. I can do boxes at the side as well. I can do linear regression lines, which is the box plot there, and say done. Maybe remove legend. And just with these three analyses, like the awesome dashboard and this graph, I have done something that would have taken me an immense time in Excel, and I've done that in no time at all. But now comes the killer. When we then say, well, there's actually a lot of things that I will not be able to see, see by just looking at a graph with one Y and one X, what we need to be doing is multivariate analysis. So we go to fit model, we say, what's the Y? What well, that's the hours. What are the X's? Well, those, that was those three. I add those, I press run, and I get this fit model window where I can see that these three are indeed significant. And I can get the estimation that I was so looking for here at the end. So now when a customer calls me, he can say, well, I have 20 cubic meters of boxes. I have five pianos. And yes, I do indeed have an elevator. I can say to him, well, that will cost you 41.58 hours of the moving time. And I might use the upper confidence here just to make sure that I'm getting enough money. Now he might call me back and say, I'm sorry, the elevator is broken. I say, I'm not sorry, you're sorry. Um, because now it's 51 rather than, so there's like a seven hour difference between these two points. So there it is. Those are, are really the four things that will make your visualizations much better, uh, your understanding much higher. Because imagine that these were not boxes, large and elevator. This was maybe the machine number. This was temperature. And this was pH, or this was whatever you have in, in your setup. And you'll be able to do this in no time. And if you want to see how I do this, I have multiple videos showing how this, how this kind of as analysis is set up. But thanks for watching. I hope that was useful. Stick around if you want to see more like this. Uh, give it a like if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more content like this. But again, I'm out.